Okay, so what we're going to have a look at here is our um, curb around the road and car park. Now, what we have to do is file new family. And what we're going to do first of all is create a profile as a handrail. So metric profile rail. So open up one of those. Okay. And when you've done open that up, you can then create the profile of your curb. Now I've just done one here that's 300 from top to bottom and 100 mil wide with a 25 mil off cut on that corner. Okay. Now this point here is where the road meets your curb. So then that comes above the ground and this bit is below the ground. So just draw the profile of that. Once you've done that, do your file, save as, save it as a new family somewhere and then load it into your project. So what we're now able to do is have a look at creating a new railing. Okay, so we click on railing. We take one of the ones that's there, okay, and then we edit the type. So the one that might come up, say, is the 1100, edit it, duplicate it, save it as your curb. And then we've got to go through a number of these settings. Okay, so I'll just open up the curb one that I've got um, just to show you what I've created. All right. So there we go, we can see the 3D profile. Now, we've got the rail structure. Okay, so this is where you have to click on and load in. So you can insert, all right, like you can there, and then you can just select which profile from the drop down menu, and your curb should be in there once you've loaded it in your project, and select the type of material that you want it to be from. Okay, baluster placement. Now this bit is where you've got to go through and change all of these balusters to the none selection. Okay, and do that down there as well. Um, get rid of the top rail if that's ticked. So most of the stuff in this you're actually turning off rather than putting things into it. And then you can click OK. Now we're ready to actually place our railing. So if we use the pick lines function, we can just pick the lines around our roadway. Now, of course, you do have to make sure that you've got one continuous pink line to achieve your curb. All right, and press tick. And now if we zoom in, we can see our curbs by there, going all the way around and following the profile of the actual road as well. So if the road goes up and down in level, so will your curbs.